Hello, how's everybody doing? So, this was already recorded, but due to my wonderful expertise in my brain, um, I accidentally deleted it. So, I'm doing this again. How's everybody doing? How's 2021 treating you so far? Um, it's been a while. Sorry. Um, lots of stuff has been going on, like the rest of the world. You know, life is happening. Um, good, bad, sadly, on my behalf, a lot of bad, but I'm here and I am alive and well. So, <clears throat> how was the rest of your 2020? You know, I mean, we had Christmas, we had Thanksgiving, we had all this stuff. It was a very different year for those that didn't have a normal Thanksgiving or Christmas. It was completely a different year, right? Um... You know, I know on our behalf, we couldn't all get together. We normally have, you know, dinners together. We hang out. We prep food. We cook. We do all this stuff. This year was just so gosh darn lonely. And it sucked. I am not going to lie. That is the one thing that if you know me, um, I cannot tell you or... Uh, I guess you could say I'm just freaking blunt. You know, it sucked. It full on sucked. Um, it was rather depressing. It was sad. It was frustrating. It was just literally it sucked. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say, gosh, it was great. And we made the best of it, which we did. But sometimes the best was just not good enough. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to straight out tell you, hey, it sucked. Um, we still, I mean, I cooked, but it was only just like Thanksgiving. Um, we were able, some of us were able to get together, but it wasn't like normal um, because of my parents. You know, they're older, so we had to take a lot of precautions. Uh, Christmas, definitely. Um, my sister, she was in Vegas with her in-laws. Um, so we missed, you know, we missed it with the babies, but we got to open the, um, we were able to open up the gifts when they got home and it was pretty much the babies. That's what we wanted to see is just, um, one of them, you know, he already knows what gifts are. So it was awesome to see his little eyes glow and just get big when he saw his gifts. Uh, it was awesome. Love that. And then we have a baby and he's a couple months old. Oh, no, he's about nine, ten months old. He's going to be about 11 months. Yeah, 11. Uh-huh. Because he's going to be one next week. So he's about, yeah, about 11. 11 months. So he could sit up. And he knows how to rip stuff. So he had fun ripping stuff, which was awesome. Loved that. Um, You know, but besides that, it was very different. And... We can feel it. Our family felt it. My parents felt it. My parents got rather depressed because they're so used to having all their kids around and their grandbabies and fur grandbabies. And this year, it just was very different. So we are hoping for a better year this year. Um, God willing, by December, you know, November, we can all be like, all right, we made it this year. And we're mask free and we can actually all get together. Which we're thinking, I don't know. I just don't know no more. I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping for it. But besides that, um, all is well. Taking it one day at a time. So, besides that, your New Year's resolutions. I keep hearing a lot of my favorite YouTubers out there having them. And, um... And that's awesome. I just learned at a young age. And I'm t when I say young age, I'm talking about my 20s. Um, I stopped doing them. I, you know, I just, it, it was from, oh, I'm going to lose like 20 pounds. Or, oh, I'm going to let my hair grow out. Or, um... This year, oh, in my 20s, this year, I'm going to, um, gosh, I don't know, what, what else did I wish for? Besides, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. Um, yeah, that was a complete fail. 
fail. Mm -hmm. So, and every year I would do, oh, I'm going to lose 15. Fine, let's try 20 again. Yeah, no. I think I would stop at five and look at my chubby ass was just like, <laughs> no, you like food, girlfriend. Um, and of course, that was before I got sick. <laughs> yes. That's before I I, I I realized that I could even go vegetarian or vegan. I can cut out all gluten. I cut out all sweets and um, literally live a very clean life and um, exercise for 45 minutes to an hour, go to the gym um, and literally, you know, just work my ass off which I did do a lot and there was nothing happening. And I think it pissed me off because I didn't know what was going on. And I was like, what the hell, man? I've cut down junk food, sodas, sweets, meat, you know, chicken. I'm going pretty much just eating veggies, eating this, you know, researching that, researching this so I can live a better life, you know. And also at 28, I realized I had a thyroid problem and <laughs> I have a wonderful disease called Hashimoto. And with it, I ha it comes with a beautiful autoimmune disorder. And, um, but on top of that, to put the cherry on top of it, uh, I had a tumor in my, in my thyroid. So, um, that had to be burnt off. It had to be dissolved because it was killing me off. So, uh, yeah, I just remember back and knowing and just thinking and being so frustrated about not losing the weight and, you know, having pressure from my mom and, you know, and just, you have to lose weight. You're getting too fat. Guess what, lady? You need to chill on that, you know. Uh, now she can't say crap to me because guess what? It ain't going to happen. So now all I have to do is just make sure that I stay chubby but healthy. And it is possible. Don't give no shit that you can't. You can. You just have to watch what you eat. Um, you still have to remain physical and you still, you know, not have that mentality of, I have to lose the 30 pounds, I have to lose the 40 pounds. I have to be a certain weight. Um, no, you literally have to just think of it day by day and you need to just nourish yourself and be healthy and be con self-conscious of exactly what's not going to make you, um, physically ill. Um, so yeah, so to me, that is definitely out the door. It's been out the door many years ago. That's like, it is important, but it's not, that's not like, oh my gosh, if I don't lose it, I'm going to die. No, that is something definitely that's just not part of my mentality. Um, uh, yeah, everything, I think when I was younger that I would, I wanted and I would want to be like, oh, this year I'm going to do this. No, I just change as I go. If I want to work on something, I will work on it. If I say, you know what, I'm going to manifest. The one thing I do manifest is staying happy, bringing happy in, and sharing happiness out. Sharing positive vibes, lifting people up when they need to be lifted. Um, somebody's feeling down, I want to be that light. Somebody's feeling miserable, share my energy with them. That's more like me but I do that anyways I do that every day at least I try to my friends know that <clears throat> they ever need you know some positive reinforcements that they need just to talk they need a vent they need to pray they need to just you know um anything that's going to help them go on in a positive way they know that I am able to do that and they know that when they come to me I'm always open so, yes. So, besides that, I do what I do every day anyways. So, yeah. You know, so, yeah. No resolutions for me. I just go as, you know, do as I do. And go as I go. So, yeah. But besides that, um, I'm doing good. I'm alive. I'm well. I'm breathing. It's another year. Taking it day by day. 
uh, my creative, my creative juju, my creative mojo has drifted a little bit more into painting. I'm going to be painting. I'm going to start painting more. That is my first love. That's been my, has been my true love in life. It has been painting and I've left painting to the side for a bit, which I feel bad for, but I was in a different mind state. So now that I'm more clear in my mind and what I usually do is once it's not being blocked, it's more like not feeling it or just being like, you know what? I like to paint, um, but I don't want to be disrespectful to it. I don't like to disrespect my art and making myself paint when I don't want to paint or when my mind is drifting to something else that's creative. I respect my gifts. I respect um, my creativity, my, you know, being creative and my space to be creative. I respect it very highly. And when something else is calling out to me, I respect it enough to go and work on it. Even if it means putting what I love um, to the side. And when I come back, I come back even stronger. And my creative, you know, mojo comes even stronger when I kind of give it a little break. So that's what I will be working on is painting. Painting has been calling out to me. I am going to definitely be starting once I clean this mess. Yeah, I've been bad. I literally I have not come into the studio for I want to say maybe a month or two. I have stopped creating, but but uh now it's time to clean shop and start painting. So, my next video, I'm hoping no promises, hoping that you'll see a little bit of what I'll be working on, which I have some ideas on what I want to do. So, with that, Hello, 2021. Hello, beautiful people. Hello, ladies and gents, dolls. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being so supportive. Sharing is caring. Don't forget to put a like, um, subscribe, leave a comment. Is there anything you want me to work on? Is there anything you want to see me do? Um, I'm open to any suggestions, but I will let you know that for right now, this little gal is going to be painting. So, with overalls in mind. And, uh, yeah. And I got to cleanse this place, too. Because I got to go out with the old and in with the new. So, namaste, my people. Namaste. May you all have a beautiful day. Stay clean. Wash your hands. Keep a mask on. And know you are loved. Until next time. Hasta pasta. Love you guys.